Snipe, Snipe, Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joan Jones, and I am back with another video for you at top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. I am proud to be here to talk about another Yeezy 500. It is no surprise that I absolutely love the Yeezy 500. I know it might not be the most stylish, but I've always said on record, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and say this on record. I've said this several times, the Yeezy 500 is the most comfortable silhouette in the Yeezy lineup period. Now, as you guys see here, I do have a few pair of the Yeezy 500s. I have the Super Moon Yellow, and of course, I have the Utility Black. Now, there are a few more other pairs. The only pair that I really like other than these two are the Yeezy 500 Blush, which was the first release to ever drop. Now, of course, you guys are here for the Yeezy 500 Bone White, which will release this weekend, August 24th, for the retail price of $200. Now, before we even get into that, I have to say I'm not sure what the availability is looking like because it's kind of tricky. Okay, so usually whenever you're going to buy a sneaker, especially a Yeezy shoe, you kind of know if it's going to be limited or not due to like the size and area of the shoe. Next up, you will see if it's limited or not based off of the silhouette of the shoe, like the 350, as of late, they have been limited when it comes back to like the black static and when it comes to like the actual glow pair, that was the 350, those have been limited. And then you have like the Yeezy 700s, the Geos wasn't that limited, of course the Tefra wasn't that limited, but the Wave Runners and the Moab kind of sold out, you get what I'm saying. When it comes to the 500, it's already probably the least popular shoe out of the entire Yeezy Adidas lineup. Other than like the 750, I know a lot of people didn't like those, but those are like discontinued. So when it comes to like the actual active models or the actual active silhouettes, I would say that the 500 is the less popular pair. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to gauge the availability of the shoe because it will be coming in grade school. It will be coming in infant. It will be coming in like, you know, preschool, all these different sizes, which normally means in any other sneaker lineup, it will be highly available. But when I'm looking at my Foot Locker app, it is only one store in the entire like an entire vicinity of me that's getting them and that's just like crazy. They are only on footlocker.com on top of that. They're not on foot action. They're not on champ sports. I'm not seeing them anywhere else. Now, of course, a lot of tier zero stores like your local, I don't know, your local wish ATLs or your local uh, social status or whatever type of tier zero retail store or resale store you have in your area, they will probably be getting these no question. But when I'm talking about actual retailer franchises around me, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champ Sports, Hibbit Sports, I believe the only spot that's getting those is Foot Locker. Now, of course, you're like, what does that mean, Snipe? What are you trying to tell me right now? Now, this is Atlanta. If you live somewhere else, of course, the quantity, of course, the sizing could be a lot different. Maybe, I don't know, every shoe store you know have it. Here in Atlanta, we don't have sneaker stores like uh, Shoe Palace or uh, all the other ones like that. We only have like the basic ones. We do have like DTLRs and stuff like that, which I'm not sure if they're going to carry this shoe because I have not done a research, to be honest. They don't have an app. I didn't make a lot of calls. I only looked at the main retail stores. So guys, if you do want this shoe, then I would suggest it's Tuesday, right? I would suggest you guys just go ahead and do the footwork now. Call stores, figure out who's going to have them, who's not going to have them. I don't think the resale will be too much. As of today, I looked at the resale on StockX and my size, the size 12 was going for 330, which isn't too bad because the retail price, once again, is only $200. So a $130 dollar flip, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, hey, your boy Snipe, I don't pay resale, so I don't care if they're going for 225. I ain't paying it, all right, that's on dough. But for my people who got that bread, you know what I'm saying, for my people, no mind spinning them in. You can go on StockX if you do strike out. Now, of course, these will also be dropping Yeezy Supply, of course, and they also will be dropping on Adidas.com, usually around the same time, which is that Saturday around 10 o'clock. Yeezy Supply might be a little bit different because as of late, Yeezy Supply have been dropping during random hours. Even when they came back and decided they were going to redrop a lot of the old Yeezy colorways, they were all random times, and I believe it took like two, three days it was crazy. So the timing for that might be a little like out the blue. I can't really gauge when Yeezy Supply is going to drop, but they, they should have them as well. Those two, like Adidas.com and of course Yeezy Supply, are usually the main two Yeezy carriers. And since Foot Locker app is having them, I really do believe that the Foot Locker website should probably have them too. All this should be going down at like Saturday, 10 o'clock, so be ready. Yeezy Supply, because sometimes they're a little bit ahead. They might drop three in the morning, five in the morning, who knows? I really know who is looking forward to this shoe. Yeezy 500 just dropping this weekend, man. It kind of 
I don't know, it's like a blend to me. I'm over here looking at these Super Moon Yellows right here. Very, very great shoe, very neutral shoe. I remember like last year, this is probably the most worn shoe of the year just because it's super comfortable. Like I said, it is the most comfortable to me. Yeezy 500 Bone White has like a lot of Super Moon Yellow in it and it has a blush. Honestly, it looks like some mixture between the blush and the Super Moon Yellow. Now, because of the blush being the first Yeezy 500 to drop, the price has gone up a little bit. And I think the same outfit you can pull off, that same look you can pull off with the blush, you can really pull off with the bone white. And that's why I'm kind of aiming for this bone white because if I can hit it for retail, pull off the same looks, it's like, you know, no harm, no foul. One thing I do want to say about the Yeezy 500 Bone White, I really did like the colorway like before they changed it a little bit. As you guys see now, the bottom sole is like this creamish, uh, darkish, but at first, it was a very, very dark, not a peanut butter sole, but like a very, very dark bottom outer sole, and I really love that. It kind of like contrasts the shoe a lot, and I thought that was a dope look. For whatever reason, they did switch it back to a lighter look, uh, a more, you know, earth tone type vibe, which doesn't make the shoe ugly, but for some reason, I just like the other one a lot better. But that wouldn't be the first time they did that. Anybody remember the semi-frozen yellow Yeezy 350s? Whenever they came out with the first pictures, I don't know if anybody remember, but when they came out with the first First official leaked images this sole was not peanut butter actually the sole was the entire semi frozen yellow upper so it all had a semi frozen upper I believe a few months before the release date they decided to change that to the peanut butter gum sole and that's kind of how we came up with the McChicken wrapper Yeezy 350s now it is summertime I do believe that the Yeezy 500 is a great summer shoe not only because it's like completely mesh on the entire upper but it's kind of like a mid cut low cut I don't really know how to explain it like the cut of the shoe is kind of low you know just like the 350 it's not too high like I said that's why I didn't like the 750 at all it was a very high cut shoe this one is more mid cut low cut very nice you can wear this without the socks the no shows you can wear it with the Adidas socks I've done both before and pulled it off just a very very great summer shoe and like I said it does have those earth tone vibes it allows you to rock a lot of different looks if you want to go that way. I am very much looking forward to this sneaker. When I seen the leaks happen, when I seen the pictures all across Twitter, by the way, follow me on Twitter if you already don't, link down below, yeah. When I seen these pics on Twitter, I was super gassed because it has been a while since the last shoe. Actually, what was the last Yeezy 500? Was it the Salt? I think it was the Salt, and when the Yeezy 500 Salt dropped, I think I was in like Dallas or Texas. I was out of town at a sneaker con. I remember going to a mall. I remember checking them out and I didn't like those at all. I believe it was, was it, was it Houston? I believe that was sneaker con Houston. And sneaker con Houston was like February or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and Google it. Actually, I'm gonna Google the last 500 to drop because I was really hoping that he did not just give up on the 500 line because I really like the shoe. Easy 500 release calendar oh i was completely off the last pair of yeezys that dropped was the salts and that was november 30th november 30th so we haven't had a yeezy sneaker a yeezy 500 in almost a year now i do see some other yeezys that's supposed to drop it's like a pink pair and another earth tone vibe i'm not really feeling the pink pair to be honest but you know who knows as of now i don't really like them and the earth the earth tone vibe kind of just reminds me once again of another similarity between the uh, you know the super moon yellow and the blush but november 30th was the last time we seen a 500 that is tough especially for my 500 fans out there so guys that's pretty much the rundown for the up and coming yeezy 500 bone white please let me know if you are looking forward to get these sneakers man leave a thumbs up if you're looking forward to these once again i know that the yeezy 500 is not the most popular pair but i do want to say again to my people who are just stuck in this way of not wanting to change look if they are sitting which I doubt, but if they do sit, let's try a pair on, bro. I know, look, the orthopedic, look, bro, there's no boost in here. The irony of the most comfortable Yeezy having no boost is crazy, but I guarantee, bro, this is the most comfortable shoe, even though it does look like a rat or like a rodent. It feels great. That is pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, man. And hopefully, you get your pair of Yeezy 500 Bone White if you want a pair. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. I appreciate you guys for watching, as always, man. And until next time, you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous. But who really putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big. <laughs>